Hey, what's up everyone? We're back with another video. Today, I'm going to be going over the best settings for Overwatch 2. So, these are going to be the best settings for performance, uh, not for visual. It's going to be best for performance and FPS and basically reduce the latency as much as you can. So, yeah. So, first we're going to start with video settings. So, display mode, obviously going to be full screen. Target, basically whatever your main monitor is, that's what you want. And this. So, when I got it... Mine was by default 1920 by 60 hertz, but you want to set it to your max hertz that you can. Because it might, by default, it might be lower. Field of view, you're going to want max. Unless you're having performance issues, then you can lower it. But most of the time, you're going to want this max. Aspect ratio, just leave it at whatever works for monitor, unless you have black bars or something. In game resolution. May, uh, also, wait, turn off dynamic resolution. It's bad to have on. Render scale. I don't know what automatic would set to, but I just prefer custom and I'll set it to 100%. Now, frame rate, I'm going to set to custom and 250. FPS, because I only have 144 hertz, so I don't need my cap to be too high. V-Sync, make sure you have that off. Now, for triple buffering and reduced buffering, these are like preference so they both reduce like input lag so or like latency so you're gonna preferably i just recommend testing these out yourself like in a practice range but yeah i prefer to have them both on now nvidia reflex enable plus boost is fine you can also go down to enabled if you don't like how enabled plus boost feels uh these you can just preference whatever you want uh now we're going to go on to graphics. So graphics quality, set to low. And then if this is on default, put it on AMD FSR. And here. You can see this is my game. I don't know if you'll be able to tell, but if I bring the sharpness down. probably hard to notice but i prefer to have my sharpness all the way up i find it makes it easier to see people in the distance if you're trying to hit people like that are far away on the map now everything else is basically you can copy low low uh turn off dynamic reflections and everything else low except turn off anti-aliasing quality screenshot quality doesn't really matter ambient occlusions turn that off Local reflections off and low. Then we can go to details. This is basically like your show FPS. I just like to have show FPS and latency on. I don't really need much else. Another thing we'll talk about is sound. So, where is it? Yeah, play. You can just make sure your sound's all right. But what we're talking about is, or is it audio mix? So. By default, it's on headphones, but you can also use night mode, which can make it easier to hear footsteps. Spatial audio you can set to whatever your preference is. Now the last thing we're going to talk about is we're going to talk about accessibility. So in accessibility, by default, this is it's going to be like this. You're just going to want to have it reduced and off. This will make it so there's no camera shake on your screen when you're getting shot. So yeah, anyways, thanks for watching.